you right there? So it's the dog. Go the way. Sit. Natalie Shree. Today I am doing a video on 25 things I have learned in my lifetime because I just turned 25. Number one, you don't have to be the skinniest or the prettiest to be successful in life. The expectations of society is a complete crop of shit. The opinion of others does not define you and you are your own definition of beautiful and worth uh, just as tank success. Number two, your HSC score does not define you. You are not a failure if you get a low score or even fail like I did and only complete your 12 and graduate that way. It doesn't mean that you're any less of a person. It doesn't mean that you're less smarter than the others that did pass. Unfortunately, things get in the way and circumstances happen that contribute to you failing. Number three, it's okay to choose to have a gap year and go travel either Australia or overseas or wherever you want to go instead of going straight into university after high school. You just did 13 years of education, you were entitled to a break. It is okay to take a break and to just have a chill year, fulfill dreams and goals that you have, that you want to do, instead of going straight into universe. Number four, don't hold on to a friendship that is no longer bringing you fulfillment or happiness in your life. If they don't put in the effort to see you or contact you as much as you are putting in to see them and to contact them, if you're always the person to organise when to hang out, always the person to message first and see how they are and even if they don't bother to reply until days later then let them go. I understand that people have their lives but it's not hard to send a simple reply to someone. If you have a friend that just can't be bothered to do that to give you that simple action of common decency they don't deserve to be in your life number five you're going to lose friendships in your lifetime that you thought you would have forever you will have friends that you thought were going to be by your side for the rest of your life and that you were going to grow old and you were going to have kids and they were going to be friends and then they're not but that's okay because some people have to leave your life for others to come in and make it better and all that jazz. Number six, it's okay if you're 25 and still single where everybody around you is getting married, is engaged, is having kids, is having more kids than what they've already got, is traveling the world, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less exciting or less important than what they are. You have plans, you're going to fulfill them. It's just going to take a bit of time. Number seven, you don't need to be friends with people who think they're top shit and do things like drugs and having sex at a really young age. I'm 25 and still a virgin and honestly, I'm proud of it. I'm proud that I didn't rush into anything and just sleep with my first boyfriend because he just was not the one for me and I would very much regret it these days and I've lost count of how many times I've had friends say to me that they wish they waited until they were a little bit older. My advice for that is don't ever let anybody pressure you into doing something that you don't want to do or that you feel like you're not ready for because you will know when you're ready and that's the most important thing. Number eight. You don't need to fake your happiness for absolutely anyone. Don't be afraid to express your feelings and tell others, especially your friends, if they've done something to upset you or if somebody says something that you don't agree with, if it, whether it be political or racist or homophobic or any of those type of beliefs that you believe in that you feel like you could educate somebody else on another way to go about something or educate them on something that they seem really bigoted or close-minded on. Do it in a kind way, but don't be afraid to speak up. We cannot improve as human beings if somebody doesn't reach out and tell us, hey, 
I think you could have gone about this another way. Number nine, you don't have to pretend to like something to impress other people. Not everybody likes the same things. Your interests and hobbies are a part of what makes you you. They're a part of who you are. It represents your personality. You don't want to pretend to like something else if you don't really like it because that just takes away from who you are as a person. Number 10. You don't need to wear things that make you uncomfortable or are the new trend just to impress other people. Wear whatever the fuck you want. Honestly, fashion is a form of expression and you can't express your true self if you are pretending to be somebody you're not. I've run out of hands, so I can't really. <laughs> Number 11, the popular people that intimidate you and tease you and bully you and make fun of your weight and the way you look because you're not cool enough or not pretty enough or you're too fat and all that stupid shit, they will eventually grow up and realize that the way they treated you was awful and it was wrong. And some of them may actually apologize to you in the future. Number 12, don't spend too much time overthinking your future. You aren't a failure or unsuccessful just because you haven't got to where you want to go yet or where you want to be or where you thought you would be right now in your life. Things happen for a reason. You will find your place when you're meant to. Number 13, it's okay to be scared if you're questioning your sexuality. And when you finally come to terms with it and accept yourself for who you are, you will feel 10 times happier in life. It'll be like a weight has lifted from your shoulders. And those who don't shower you with love and acceptance don't deserve to be in your life, to put it bluntly. Number 14, don't ever let anyone make you feel like you're a freak for going to multiple concerts for the same musician that you have idolized for years who has literally changed your life and helped you overcome so many struggles or camping out at premieres to meet somebody that you've always wanted to meet. That stuff is fine to do. Some people have different interests. People like to do different things. It doesn't make you a freak. It just means you're passionate and passion is okay. Number 15, listen to your parents. If they tell you a specific person isn't a good influence or basically a shit person, they're most probably right. Number 16, your gut instinct is always right. I have lost count of how many times I've done the opposite of what my gut instinct told me to do. Especially when it comes to the Melbourne Cup, it's really annoying. Number 17, life is short and tomorrow is never guaranteed. Tell your friends and family that you love them every single day because you never know when they could be gone. Number 18, don't take yourself too seriously. Be silly, act crazy, have fun. Laughter is the best medicine. Number 19, not everything is set in stone. You may have a goal or a plan to do something specific, but sometimes things can get in the way, whether it be financial, emotional, physical delays. It's okay to say, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm going to do it. It's okay for things to be delayed. Trust me, I delayed my trip to America like all times, and I'm going next year, woo! Number 20, your mental illness does not define you. I am not depression, I am not anxiety, I have it. Some days are awful, but you will get through it, I promise. I know it's hard, but reach out to a friend or family member. Talking honestly really, really does help. Number 21, in the words of Hannah Montana, nobody's perfect. No matter how high we may put somebody on a pedestal, whether it be a family member, a friend, a celebrity, they're still a human being and they're going to make mistakes. And everybody makes mistakes. It's okay to forgive them. It's okay to call them out on a mistake. Call them out if they have done something that you feel is not appropriate. But you need to remember that they are human and treat them with dignity because humans make mistakes. Number 22, courage is not the absence of fear. You can be absolutely terrified of heights and still get on a roller coaster and have the time of your life. Fear will often be in a lot of things that you choose to do, especially if it's new. Courage is having fear, but looking beyond it and doing something anyway. 
Number 23, you are not a loser if you don't go out every weekend and party and drink your weight in alcohol. It is perfectly okay and acceptable to stay at home and read a book or binge watch a TV show instead. Number 24, what you put out into the universe, the universe will give back to you. If you're being negative and thinking of every worst possible solution, that's how the universe will repay you. Be positive and kind and the universe will reward you. And last but not least, number 25, nine times out of 10, the bad things that you constantly worry about happening will never happen. It's the bad things that you don't even occur to worry about that happen. Live every day like it's your last, live your life the best you can, and in the words of Cinderella, have courage and be kind. That's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below if you have not already or if you're new here. I am trying to upload every week, but I am really, really bad with it. I'm struggling with ideas and all that jazz. So if you have an idea for a video, please leave a comment below and let me know what you think I should do. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya! Ah, my ankle!